everyone and welcome to another Pokemon card video! This video is gonna be a little bit strange because last week was meant to be the Legendary Birds week but I am awful so I actually recorded those videos already. You can see the remnants of the packages back here but I was super lazy and I didn't edit and upload those so what I'm going to do this week is well I've got another Legendary Birds pack so we're going to we're gonna reboot the Legendary Birds week and we're gonna do it this week so I've already got those two videos recorded so we'll do this one and then on Wednesday and Friday we'll do the multi and the uh, Zapdos stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and start a new Legendary Birds week with this right here. So this one's actually really cool because it's got some... Well, right here it looks like a Plasma Freeze pack. I don't know what's on this side, but I know that Plasma Freeze is a bit of a rare set because uh, I want to say there was something that was good competitively, so a lot of people were buying those packs, but I'm pretty sure they're fairly expensive packs, so that's pretty cool. We've also got the three promo cards right here. What do you say we just go ahead and open this guy and take a look? Oh, there's the art on the back, I guess. Yeah. Yep, right there we've got a Plasma Freeze Pack from Black and White with Absol on the front. And then over here we've got, well, let's see. I think it's probably just another Plasma Freeze. Also, Dan the Pumpkin's still back there. Let's see, we do have actually a Plasma Storm, another really cool set, dude. The Plasma sets are really awesome. But let's also get these uh, little, little promo cards out here. I don't think they're actually promo cards, I think they're just holographics. There's one out, there is two out, and there's three out. There's also a coin right here. Ah. There we go, we got him out as well. So it looks like we've just got a basic plastic Pikachu coin right here. Just a black black plastic with the silver on the front. Looking nice and rainbowy though, so that's always cool. So there's that Pikachu action. And let's take a look at these cards. So right here we've got Articuno, of course. Beautiful card, nice and shiny. It's got like the snow, the snow glitter effects as well. Actually, some of the snow is not glittery, but some of it... Actually, I don't know if any of it is, but it just kind of looks like it. But anyways, right down here, it's 27 out of 99. I don't know what set that's from, but I'm pretty sure that is not actually a promo card. Still, very, very cool card right there. We've also got Zapdos, my favorite of the three, which looks kind of strange. There's like this floor or ocean or something in the background, and it's kind of like separate from the sky, and then the sky over here has a totally different color. Really cool card. I love the look of like the red sky and the blue sky like that. That's really awesome. It's got random spots spark and thundering hurricane sounds awesome dude and it's funny because lately i've been playing this game that just came out marvel vs. capcom infinite and the character that i play in that game i play thor and i play chun li and thundering hurricane sounds like a move that thor would have now right here we've also got moltres another really cool looking card doesn't really have the separation of the sky colors looks like it's all just kind of some kind of red and blue type thing, but it's still really cool looking. And we got Searing Flame, Fire Blast. Actually, it looks like all three of these cards were done by the same illustrator. Not a big surprise considering how similar they look, but you can see Rio Ueda. Pretty nifty. All right, let's go ahead and set those guys down. I think the first pack I want to open is Plasma Storm. I don't know if I've ever opened either of these sets before. I think I might have opened a couple packs here and there, but I'm really not sure. So we do have a code card, so there is the code card for that guy. And let's go take a look at a Plasma Storm Pack. So right on the front, we do have an actual Plasma card. We got Plasma Frigate. Awesome. We've got a Maractus with the Dazzle Dance, dude. Just chilling in some random desert. I always wonder, when they show these different locations in the Pokemon cards, are these meant to be real locations in the world of Pokemon, or did they just kind of invent it for the card? You know, that might be like some desert from some game, but who knows? All right, here we've got Heatmore looking looking crazy, just kind of standing up on some rocks for some reason. We've got a Zubat, all right, Spiral Drain. We've got a Pat Rat. I don't know why he's like mountain climbing right now. Is he supposed to be yodeling or, I don't know, just trying to see off in the distance? I don't know, man. We've got a Carvana, always looking menacing. I love how he's got like the fins popping out the top of the water. Awesome. We got a Wismer who looks kind of stunned for some reason. Here's a Fungus just chilling in some tree branches, just just taking a little, little, little relaxation. We've got a Tim Burton right here, reverse holographic. Down at the bottom, we can see that is a common. So, oh well, still pretty cool. And our final card oops, is going to be a Magnezone. We've got double assist, tumbling attack. Not holographic on that guy, but oh well. Let's go get to our Plasma Freeze pack as well. This is kind of the set that I was really excited for. I think there are some legendary birds in this set. It's probably why the uh, legendary bird promo cards or whatever you want to call them were a part of that but let's go ahead and see what we got in this one I also want to check out the symbol for this set no I was gonna say maybe this symbol will have the same symbol as the promo cards but as you can see it's just whatever that is where this one has 
Whatever that is, so I don't know what set that's from, but there you go. So we do got a, t a Team Plasma badge, that's pretty stinking cool. We've got Nidorino, look at this guy. Yeah, a lot of these cards are going to have ice as a part of the theme, because it is Plasma Freeze. As you can see, Cedra here has got like some ice in the background, all kinds of crud. We've got a Mankey, dude, trying to eat some frozen fruit, dude. We've got Nidoran Female, yeah, just ice everywhere. It looks like a frozen stinking windmill back there, that's super awesome. Let's see, right here we've got Weedle. Man, that's such a cool theme. I love the ice theme in the art. Every single card we've seen has had ice in it. So we got Grimer right there in the frozen cave. We've got a Yaw Mask. I think we're about to get to that reverse holo. Yes, look at that. We got the super cute Eevee right there. And what do we have as our final card? We've got a... I was never sure how to pronounce this guy's name. Kofagrigis. <laughs> I have no idea how to say it, guys, but we got this guy, the coffin guy with the creepy spooky hands. Holographic. That's awesome. Look at this attack name, dude. Slap of Misfortune. That's pretty awesome. But all right, guys, that's going to wrap things up here for today. So the record, the videos right here, the Moltres and the Zapdos ones have already been recorded. Those will go up later in the week. It's kind of weird to record this video after I've already recorded those. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care!